Now let's start talking about the compressible flow. Now till now we have been talking about the incompressible flow in which the density is a constant value. It does not change. But in the compressible flow there is a change in the density. Okay. So we'll first of all look at the continuity equation for the compressible flow because till now we have seen the equation for an incompressible flow. So the continuity equation says that this term is a constant value, isn't it? Which is your mass flow rate. So if I say this in differential form, that is the change of the mass flow rate happening through a section is zero. Okay, or in between two sections is zero. So when you look at this, let me take this as one term, this as the other term, so you will have a v into d rho plus rho into d of a v. Now in this equation, I am not treating rho as con constant. So this means rho is not a constant value because now we are talking about a compressible flow. Okay, so let's uh, resolve this further. So if you look at this, this part you will have a into dv plus v into da a into dv plus v into da is equal to 0 and you will have a v d rho plus rho into a into dv plus rho into v into da is equal to 0. Now I will divide the entire equation by rho a v. This would give me an equation of the form which is d rho by rho d rho by rho plus dv by v plus da by a da by a this is equal to 0 this equation that you have got is the continuity equation for a compressible flow because over here we have also shown that the density is not a constant value for such a flow. So make a note of this. This is the continuity equation for a compressible flow. Okay, so this is the first video on this particular chapter. So we have now got a continuity equation which can be used for a compressible flow. Now in the next video, we will talk about the Bernoulli's equation for a compressible flow.